to be able to quickly set up an nginx a web server using docker is super super simple in this video i'm going to show you how to uh, do it as quick as uh, you can uh, but still having uh, complete control and then we're going to have a look at how to debug uh, this type of stuff anyway so i've got docker desktop open and i've got the pro version as well but i've got docker desktop open you can see here we basically have uh, it's all pretty much basic so we're going to go over to um over to a terminal here and uh, i'm in this uh, folder here if we just go to vs code and i've got this basic index.html and this conf uh, file from nginx that's empty right now but we're going to be able to use that later in the video so we can come here first of all and say docker run i'm going to say dash d all right and uh, we're then going to just say which port we want to run it on and we're going to say we want to run it on port 80 on our local machine and that should be bound to the port 80 within inside of the container all right because that's what nginx is running by default on so we're going to uh, map now uh, our uh, the volume app uh, app on it but if you don't know this in the beginning then uh, you need to find it out somehow so this is why we're going to leave it because we're going to i'm going to show you how to find this information out so we're going to map uh, the ports there and then all we're going to say is then engine x and we're going to run it so we've got we're running it we're running it in the background we are uh, attaching then the port to it and we'll just say uh, engine x it's going to quickly download them and uh, if we come over to uh, docker uh, desktop here you can now see it's uh, there and we should have also our containers up and running we didn't give it a name so what we could give it a name to if we wanted to so let's just uh, quickly come over to the browser and have a refresh and we can see here we get welcome to uh, nginx default web page all right so now we want to be able to find out where those files where that nginx file is actually located right and you could then go inside of the container using the command line and, and so on you could then just come here and see what's running take the name of it and stuff and say docker uh, 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 then ex execute uh, it here and then we can say uh, bash for example and once we're in there we could then come into engine x uh, and go from there and then have a look at here and then we'll just say cats uh, conf and then defaults here and now you can see from here where it is but that is a bit of a nuisance as well to be able to do and there is a quicker way of doing it if you don't want to do it like that and that's just basically clicking on uh, the container itself coming to inspect and you can see from here uh, where the types of stuff are the bind the execute and the files the, the files is probably the, the the fastest way to be able to do it because you can come now in here and say etc and we want to scroll down to engine x if i haven't scrolled past it already scroll here conf d and then we can say here edit file and now we can actually see the file itself so here shows us that we are listening on port 80 server name local host and here is where uh, basically all requests are, are landing uh, here for the forward slash. So we come and copy this if we want to and uh, come back to our um, uh, command line and we'll just say docker rm and uh, we need that. That's, let's, just, let's just stop it here. It's easier if I, uh, whoops, uh, stop it here and just delete it. Yes. Okay. So let's come back to our uh, our command here and now rather than it being that uh, name a random name that it's given we're just going to call it web and now we can say uh, the dash v to say hey this is volume this this folder dot app uh, on the the the, uh, the files the local file system should be mapped to then uh, this path with inside of the container itself so when we run this you'll see we get the hash for the container and we now know it's up and running if we rerun this you can now see that we get hello world here because we've now uh, mapped a volume which um, now we can come back over to docker desktop and we can now come to the bind mounts and we can see here that um, i've got uh, this one folder this source on the host mapped to the destination folder on here so docker in the background is doing this all for us and we can still uh, we, we we can come here now and uh, where was it being mapped to sorry it was being mapped to user share nginx html here all right so let's just come back into here now and use the share nginx uh, 
Oh, okay, that's nice. So that was good. <laughs> let me let's just uh let's just restart this. I wasn't expecting that. So I didn't like that. Looks like it's starting again. All right, let's just assume that that's uh, it doesn't like doing that, but we we know that our HTML file is there now. So this is not going to be up and running. Let's just say Docker PS and it's still restarting and that crashed again. Didn't like that at all. Nice. See if it can run again. Okay, there we go. So it's not uh, running. Uh, we can uh, restart this again. And let's do it the old fashioned way, shall we? So we can come here, we see it's up and running. So we'll, uh, we can now uh, basically say execute stock at EXX, you know what I'm talking about, then a dash IT, and we'll say web, and we'll just say cats, uh, user share nginx, whoops, nginx, and then HTML, whoops, and we want, um, index.html here and you can see here uh that it's doing what's next try docker whatever okay all right so it's got debug here but you can see the contents of that one file is actually there so it is correctly mapped um so let's have a look so if you wanted to now uh, map this cont file and you want to have the contents in here also we could uh, just come into uh here too and let's just stay in. Oh, we just want files. Nice. All right, let's restart this again. Okay, uh, we'll just restart it again. And I'm guessing it, there's a bug in that. So we're just gonna do this, uh, we're just gonna do this manually now because obviously you can't trust uh, Docker Desktop uh, to do this. So um, what we can do is um, we can say Docker copy and we want um, then a web and we want user uh, share uh nginx oh wait, wait a minute we want sorry we wanted um uh etc nginx and then um conf d and then we want a default uh, conf and we want to copy that to uh let's say local.conf first of all and we'll come back to visual studio code and we can see now we have the whole uh, the whole file so i can just paste it whoops i can just paste that now in uh, here and save this and we just delete that all right move to trash yes okay so now we have the possibility to be able to uh, change uh, this one file but in order to do that we have to uh, stop uh, web here first and then we come back and rerun it again but this time rather than just saying uh, dash v and then app and this here we need to basically map this one uh, conf uh, file to. So I'm going to say nginx or nginx nginx n. That's better. <laughs> conf uh, to, and we need to map it to uh, that one uh, path, right? Which is etc nginx conf d, and we're going to call it default dot conf here and we run this once again uh, everything should be perfectly fine we come and rerun this and we get hello world uh, still and uh, yeah we, we now we're now able to uh, modify this one file 
Uh, obviously, you need to restart Nginx, et cetera, et cetera, but you now have the possibility to uh, modify uh, this file and keep it locally. So it means next time you, when you restart it, you still have this uh, here, okay? Um, now you could then use Docker Compose, uh, YAML file uh, and so on, but there was not part, part of uh, this video. This video was just to show you how to quickly get something like this up and uh, running. And there was no, actually no need to do the nginx.conf either. It was just about uh, getting this, uh, this folder because we know inside of here uh, that if you're just doing an in, uh, HTML uh, website or something like that and you want something very simple, uh, then this location forward slash is uh, more than enough and it obviously then has um, uh, the error handling pages as well and if you wanted to have any other php with it then this is there for you anyway with that said uh, thank you very much for watching if you've got something out of this video don't forget to uh, like subscribe and uh, if you've got any questions feedback or concerns um, then uh, let's start a conversation in the comment section down below with that said uh, sorry about all of the messing around with uh, docker um, desktop not my fault that crashed itself uh, i think it might have something to do with the fact that the um the the volume is running on an ssd and docker on mac doesn't tend to like uh, working with other um, hard drives it tends to like working just with the actual host system and so on because of uh, permissions etc etc um so thanks very much i'll see you in the next video ciao ciao and goodbye